Welcome to the final module in Security Onion Essentials, the course wrap-up. We're going to review what we learned, and then we'll talk about some additional resources that can help you to take the next step in your Security Onion journey. So what did we cover in our time together? First was the introduction module, which covered some background information about the Security Onion platform, the components that make it up, and how they fit together to provide deep visibility into your environment. Next, we discussed the installation process for Security Onion. We installed an evaluation node, which is a very basic version of the platform intended for trying out its capabilities. Good news though, the same installation and deployment methodology applies to the more robust architectures as well, so the experience that you got here will be useful for planning a home or enterprise deployment. After that, we talked about some of the analyst tools built into Security Onion. You learned how to query your data using Hunt, how to visualize it using dashboards, and how to track the progress of an investigation using cases. We also saw how the grid screen shows the health of your deployment, as well as some basic overviews of other integrated tools like Kibana, OS Query, and CyberChef. Next was a short module on keeping Security Onion up to date in both standard and air gap deployments. There are generally new versions of the platform released every month or two, and they often include both updates to software components and new functionality for your analysts to take advantage of. Staying on the current release will pay off by making new features and integrations available in your deployment. Finally, we walk through the three main workflows of Security Onion. First, how to use the alert and case tools to triage and drill down on alerts, gather evidence, and track investigations. Next, how to use hunt and dashboards to perform threat hunts using the stockpile of data you've gathered in your Security Onion instance. And finally, detection engineering techniques for taking the output from those first two workflows and turning it into new alerting rules for your environment. If you're having trouble with your Security Onion deployment, there are several resources available to help. SecurityOnion.com help will bring you to the help section of our documentation with a frequently asked question list as well as some common troubleshooting steps that may help to resolve your issue. If you've got questions or problems with a particular component, our documentation is available at SecurityOnion.com docs. Now I may be biased, but I think our documentation is really excellent and thorough, and it's a great resource for understanding the platform as a whole. Finally, if you need some outside expertise, feel free to start a new thread on our community discussion forum at securityonion.com discuss. Make sure that you read the suggested posting guidelines there to verify that you're including all of the information that the community members might need to understand and diagnose your problem. If you're interested in our professional services offerings, these links may be of interest to you. We do offer paid support for the platform, including helping you plan your deployment, advice on architecture, custom parsers and integrations, break fix troubleshooting, and more. For details, go to securityonion.com support. We also have more comprehensive paid training available for both analyst and engineering roles. This includes recorded on-demand training, as well as in-person instructor-led training. For more information on the different courses and a schedule of upcoming live training events, check out securityonion.com training. Pre-built hardware appliances are available from Security Onion Solutions as well. We know Security Onion's hardware needs, and our appliances are the perfect match for the platform. Not only will you have confidence that your Security Onion deployment is running on the best suited hardware, you will also be supporting future development and maintenance of the Security Onion project. More information at securityonion.com slash hardware. Finally, our Security Onion Pro offering includes a bundle of advanced capabilities, as well as health checks, support SLAs, and other features appropriate for enterprise deployments. For more details on what's included, go to securityonion.com slash pro. Congratulations on completing Security Onion Essentials. I hope this course was useful for you and you feel ready to deploy Security Onion in your environment and start using it to peel back the layers of your network to hunt for suspicious and malicious events. Please feel free to follow us on social media. We're at Security Onion on most major platforms. For more news and for updates on the platform, as well as information about events like our annual user conference. Take care and have a great day.